Hi everyone, I'm Nazmul Hassan. This video is about Vivo Antenna Basics. After discussing the basics, I will also demonstrate a fabricated Vivo Antenna. And after this video, in the next video, I will show you the measurement process of the Vivo Antenna. So let's proceed to the basics of Vivo Let's say this is a two conductors transmission line and the separation between these conductors T is very very small compared to the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave being carried by these conductors. And E of T is the oscillating time varying electromagnetic field being carried by these conductors. So we can see it is oscillating and let's say no radiation is happening right now because the wave is tightly bound within the conductors and the transmission line is basically guiding this electromagnetic wave forward. Now imagine we bend the conductors at one end. Now what happens is that the electric field lines start to bend as it encounters this widening path. The field lines are no longer tightly bound and start to loosen up more and more. So that's interesting. When the separation between the conductors approaches to half wavelength, that is D is almost equal to lambda by 2, the electric field lines start to escape from the transmission line and the radiation takes place. Since in free space there is no free charge, the electric field lines form closed loops. So these are the closed loops indicated by these loops. Now, the Let's say the Vivaldi antenna axis is along the z-axis and we can define the equation of radiation curve by this exponential equation which is x equal to e to the power r times c. Alright, now I have basically designed and simulated this Vivaldi by using both HFSS and CST Microwave Studio and the results are almost similar this is the simulation result. Basically, it shows the radiation pattern in HFSS, and that one is in CST Microwave Studio. You can see the radiation pattern is N fire type, right? So this similar. All right. So this is the fabricated Vivo antenna designed by me. So it is excited by this 50 ohm microstrip transmission line connected to the coaxial cable of Vivo antenna. The feeding mechanism is based on the microstrip to slot transition where electromagnetic wave couples from microstrip to the slot line. I used HFSS and CST Microwave Studio for the design and simulation and afterwards I generated the copper fine from EDS momentum for PCB fabrication. Thank you for watching. Actually in the next video I'm going to show you how to measure this antenna by using a network analyzer.